Hey guys, welcome back to another how to win video. Today I'm going to be taking Bull into Solo Shadow and Dark Passage. Now in today's video I want to focus on using short range brawlers in longer range maps. As you can see, Dark Passage is very open in the center, but towards the bottom and also the top of the map there's a lot of bushes and other bits you can hide in. However, it is still mostly open making it very good for brawlers such as Piper, B, Brock and many more. Now before I do start the video, I do want to kind of cover a few things such as you could pick Shelly or Daryl perhaps, but Shelly does have a bit of a longer range which lets her snipe people a little bit easier and then Daryl has his role which also makes it very easy for him to get close to other brawlers and take them out so I don't want to sort of cheat I guess I'm gonna play bull to give myself more of the challenge so we'll see how we do in the first game Okay, we are spawning on the right hand side of the map. I'm actually going to go for the box just below me because since I am playing a shorter range brawler, being able to grab as many power cubes as I can is definitely what I want to try and go for. Now, I did notice there's a crow over there and there's also a rose over there. I'm not going to go for the crow because the crow can easily take us out just because his poison is so good at keeping us weak and from not healing and also because he's got a much longer range than we do. Now, I'm going to hide behind these walls just in case he shoots there. I was predicting that, so I'm just going to hide behind here. Hope that he loses interest and I'm just going to stay in these bushes for a little bit longer until I feel a little bit more comfortable repositioning myself now I'm actually just gonna head down here and go into these bushes because that way the crow doesn't see me however I do think there may be a Rosa in these bushes still but if she has moved that'll be better for us now she has moved she's got six pack use and we've actually contested this large chunk of the map all to ourselves we did expose ourselves there a little bit that is unfortunate but when you are playing shorter range brawlers in a longer range map you want to sort of get as many advantages as you can know what's what your brawl is good at or just find really good spots on the map that you can sort of capitalize on early and just hold them down and fight for them as much as possible so I'm gonna do whatever I can in my power to make sure no one takes these little bushes from me and that way that will give me a better situation for later on now I just see there's an energy drink spawning so I'm just gonna grab this one and then go for this fight that's happening here against the cult and the pipe I'm just gonna go down here the cult's gonna take out the piper I'm gonna be able to take out the cult and take them out and now what I'm gonna do is actually gonna stay in these bushes now these are now I'm gonna capitalize on these bushes instead because if I go back down to those ones over there um, I will expose myself there's not really too much to do down there anymore I'm just gonna stay here and play a little bit patiently hope that, that Rosa goes for the crow as the crow is currently shooting at her and she doesn't know where I am Alrighty, doing really well so far. There's another energy drink spawning. I'm just gonna go close to the Rosa to try and keep her weak. Um, I'm gonna try and build up my super so I can possibly charge away. But she has backed off and is trying to heal up by the looks of it. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push this crow closer to the Rosa because that way um, we have a better chance of getting second place. And it actually worked out very well that we did get second place. That Rosa did have more power cubes and the energy drink advantage, which is why I settled for a second rather than a first. Simply because I saw the crow didn't have that many power cubes and we had actually a good position on him we had that wall to sort of hide behind and also not take damage and that was a really good advantage for us because we were able to push him closer to the Rosa get him pinched in between us get him taken out and then we just easy take that second place easy peasy eight trophies so without further ado let's hop into the next game Okay, spawning in the bottom left corner this time. We do have all these bushes sort of above us that we will definitely be trying to contest early on. Although it looks like we have a bow who's going to share this area with us. He's using all of his attacks. Very poor mistake on his part. If you're going to be playing a bow or anyone like that and you see someone near you, never unload all three shots on all the boxes just because I'm easily able to just walk straight up, use all my attacks and take him out just because he made that big mistake of getting all those boxes early on. Now, I do notice there's a Prima over there. So I'm conserving my ammo as much as I can. I'm just going to straight at him here do two quick shots at him take him out very easily now he also made a very big mistake and went straight at me thinking oh he's going for a box or something well I conserved my ammo and I was expecting him to keep charging so I ran away a little bit tried to regain a little bit more ammo just went straight at him two tapped him and finished him off very easy and now we're looking very good with six power cubes and our super so we can definitely make some good plays with this and now that we also have cleared out our side of the map we're in a very good position and if you don't know much about positioning I highly recommend you check out my positioning video because I go into more depth on how you can do that but now that we are looking really good in this corner of the map we don't really have much to do I'm just gonna keep my eye on other players um, make sure that I don't get taken out or anyone tries to contest my side of the map but I'm keeping my eye on this fight up here just because I think maybe one of them will move closer to me or not I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here also there are actually three players 
up there. I could charge it on the energy drink, but it's not a good idea because that tower is already close to it and everyone else is going to pinch me since I'll be the center of attention since I don't have that long of a range and I'll just get easily pinched. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to stay here. I really have no reason to move around. I can just relax, stay in these bushes and just watch people do all the work for me. Now there's Anita hiding behind those box, that box there. She is an AFK, she's just not moving. Uh, she might shoot here thinking that we're in there. Now she did miss, luckily, so she probably thinks that there's no one on this side of the map. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly surprise her if she comes near me. Now she's going to hide in those bushes instead. Now this Leon knows that she's there, but he doesn't know that I'm here. Um, so we're going to just going to pinch her really easily here. Get her in between me and my me and the Leon. Leon still got his energy drink. He, he did just run out. So what we're going to do is we're going to fall back a little bit, try and heal up, and then I'm going to use my charge to just get straight in on him when he gets this energy drink, and hopefully we can take it from him right here. We took the energy drink. We're going to try and heal up. Um, if not, he's going to try and shoot at us. Oh, and we also took the second place there. Now. Tried my hardest to take out that Leon at the very end there. Since Leon has a much longer range than Bull, he can outrange us so easily and it's hard to actually land shots. But I tried to play it as well as I could, charging in on the energy drink. We might have had a chance if we got a little bit closer, but we weren't able to heal up in time. We couldn't deal any damage to him and we had to settle for second place once again, but still a very good game. Uh, making quick work of a lot of plays and doing very well with Bull on this map. Normally, he doesn't work so well as playing other bra brawlers such as Crow. Definitely recommend Crow, by the way, if you have him. They work a lot better, but that's not the point of this video. Anyways, let's jump to the next game and see how we can do in there. Okay, spawning in the top left corner of the map, we have a box below us and a box to our right. We've also got a Leon who spawned near us, which doesn't really bug me because we can capitalize on these boxes very easily because Leon is not much of a threat. So we're gonna go for the one over on the left as well, just because there's a Rosa going for those ones there, and we can just get this one peacefully and not have to deal with that Rosa. Now, I'm just looking for a good spot that I can hide in or sort of maintain for the large majority of the game, just like we did last time down below us in those big, thick area of bushes, but the, the top of the map is more catered towards long range compared to the bottom um, so we're gonna probably have to settle for these little bushes here behind a wall which isn't too bad because we do have some cover that we can hide behind but we'll have to reposition later on in the game and we're gonna be exposed so hopefully we can make work of this for the meantime and maybe reposition to a better spot later on now I do notice there's an energy drink down there that Rose will probably go for it um, and seeing as she knows that we're here she might have gone for us although she didn't so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take over her original position um, although she is going back to it now her energy drink has run out there's actually two tanks here Rosa and a Daryl I'm actually just gonna head towards the bottom of the map um, since that Daryl has sort of taken over where I used to be and reposition ourselves once more and see what we can do down here instead there's a Nita here with energy drink but that energy drink did just run out so if I can get one shot on her to back her away a little bit um, keep her back at the bottom of the map as she will have to move towards us eventually once the storm starts pushing her out However, we have successfully repositioned ourselves in a very good spot. We're doing really well so far. I'm pretty sure there's no one over to the left, um, even if there is not too much of a big deal. This Nita's still here going for us. She has an energy drink, but I'm not very scared of that because we can do a lot of damage to her and just sort of run away, make sure we don't get taken out here. So I'm going to head below these walls here, take care of these bushes once more. Uh, and then we're going to wait for this Anita to make a mistake, or tr at least we'll see if we can get an opening here and take her out. Now she's going way too aggressive on us, we will get the energy drink, take her out, take the power cubes. I'm just going to fall back, heal up, we're not going to use that energy drink anymore unless someone tries to go straight for us, which I highly doubt, because energy drink is pretty scary. Now we're going to actually um, capitalize on this energy drink instead, just claim it, we're going to take it now, we're going to go straight for this Daryl, because he's just going to be an easy kill. We're going to use all of our attacks there. Go straight for this Rosa as well. Uh, we should be able to take her out. One more shot. And we will be able to get that easy first place victory. Now, this is actually working very well for us, Bull, on this map. Normally, he shouldn't work this well. I am playing really well, however, especially with the, uh, that game. I positioned myself in a very good spot early on. I was in the top left, which wasn't the ideal situation. But then we found a good opening to move towards the bottom of the map and then stay there, sort of clean that area for ourselves, and then we just played it really well. Got lucky with the energy drink spawns, but still played that so well, we took that easy first place victory. So without further ado, let's jump into the fourth and final game and see if we can do just as good or even better. Alrighty, spawning on the left hand side of the map, um, also towards the top as well, very similar to the last game. I don't think we're going to go for any boxes up there, rather we'll go for the ones towards the middle and see if we can reposition lower in the map rather than staying towards the top. So we'll go for this one right here 
And then when you're going for boxes in the middle, you want to be very careful because right here, there's like three people coming in all at the same time, and the tower with piercing damage is probably going to be able to take all of them out at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay back, but sort of keep an eye on her, maybe get a chip shot here or there. We weren't able to do that. She's going to have six power cubes now and also outranges us. So she's going to back away, not even going to go for the tower anymore. Um, instead, we're going to go for these bushes over here. And just stay here, chill out for a little bit. Just playing to our strengths. Bull is a lot better waiting for enemies to come to him or making mistakes than he is going for enemies. Um, Daryl coming in right here. We're just going to be able to take him out. See if we can maybe take out the Tara as well. She's not as stupid as that Daryl is. We're just going to uh, wrap around these walls here just to heal up. And we are now full HP. So instead, knowing that that Tara came from the bottom of the map gives me an idea that there's no one down here anymore. Which means now I'm going to actually reposition to the bottom of the map and take over that good place. And now we're going to grab this energy drink at the same time. Time. So, going to grab that energy drink. I know there's someone down here. There's a Mortis and there was also a BB that he just took out. Going to be able to chase him down, deal 1,000 damage. He's going to dash into us and get taken out. And now we have the bottom of the map all to ourselves. Once again, being able to position so well. If you want more info on that, definitely check out the positioning video. I've already said it once, but I'm just going to say it once more just in case you missed it. I did a very good job there of demonstrating how you can position yourself from a bad spawn to a really good spot later on in the map. And now that we are in this spot, we have our super. we got four power cubes that are doing very well. Three people are remaining, and now all we have to do is wait patiently and make sure that we don't do any silly mistakes. So Tara coming in with energy drink, she's going to go for the second one. She has a healing shade chasing after her, which is unfortunate, although I think she just found the other person in the game. It was a Shelly she took her out, and I'm going to wait a little bit longer for her to come down here and her energy drink to run out. So there she is, trying to get some shots off. Uh, she did find us, we're just going to try and get a little bit of damage off, maybe. Um, she's getting a bit close, I'm going to charge into the top right of the map, uh, see if we can maybe do anything here. She has 10 power cubes, gonna use her pull, take us out easily and get that first place victory for her. We'll take second though, very happy about that game, I'm very happy about how he positioned, and that's really a prime example of how you want to play short range rulers on such an open map, is just finding the good spots and being able to play to your strengths, really. So, we found that spot at the bottom of the map, we were trying to get to the bottom in every game we played, and we managed to do that successfully in all the games we played, and I hope that does clear up some confusion or maybe it just helps you out if you want to push some short range brawlers in a longer range map but anyways been talking for ages now hope you did enjoy the video please leave a like if you did enjoy and if you have any other suggestions for anything feel free to leave it in the comments or pop into my twitch chat i stream every friday saturday and sunday the links are down in the description below if you want to have some fun or you have any questions about the video be sure to ask me there as well but that'll be it for me today guys and just remember keep sweating all right we're clutching this up, boys and girls, and everything else in between. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo, someone clipped that. That was madness.